In my decision of becoming a, a social worker, actually it came from home because I have experienced, you know, certain things in the community where you ask questions, it's kind of hard to advocate for yourself. I've always been interested in helping children and parents bond and connect. And I, I felt like through my own experiences too that there was a need. It's not for everybody and I know where my passion is and my passion is helping the elderly and the disabled because it, it takes a special kind of person to go through all of the challenges that we have to go to just to advocate for them. We have a, a little video for you to watch as well. No way! Really? Irvin came in from the Gathering Place Clubhouse and jumped right in and never missed a beat. He put his own spin on things, but it was like Joyce had never <laughs> left. Aaron is a back in my life. Oh God, I'm going to cry. Making it easier for me to live independently. I knew Kelly was right for our family because I have this analogy with, with what I'm going through right now. It almost feels like we're at a pier and everyone has swam to the pier and I'm still out in the water and I can't get there. Without even knowing this analogy, she said to me, Sarah, you're not sitting alone in that rowboat. Kelly Murray has uh. been a great advocate for our foster son. Um, the first few months before we started services, I was terrified. Like, I didn't know how to help him. There's so many ways I can say that Lisa Craig has impacted our life. And I think the first thing that I noticed is, as a special need parent, especially at the beginning when they're offering services, people come into your home. And Lisa Frank, from the moment she came in, not only delivered the help, but she also came in and was just normal and nice and friendly. She goes above and beyond. Like, she, she's a lifesaver. We would be still broken if it wasn't for her. I would like to say to Erin that I really appreciate her. Uh, everything she's done for me, continues to do for me. There's people that are at their job, and then there's people that love other people, and that's why they're doing their job. Lisa loves other people, and that's why she's doing this job. She's fantastic. She's made an impact on our lives that we will forever remember and be grateful for. I don't know if I could have done this without their support. Our foster son has come such a long way, and it's a very scary road. I would just uh, give them a great big thank you and a great big hug for all the uh, uh, effort that they put in. I feel like having Mark, having Aaron as a coordinator, makes them feel like I have a community around me, and I'm not by myself. <sighs> Wow, yeah, uh, seeing Sarah there and, and the impact that we've had on there is just really, really moving. I guess it reminds you. <laughs> yes, we're invested. <laughs> it just fires me up, you know? I feel like we're actually making a difference and, and him specifically, I mean, he's fought so hard to maintain his independence and he's still doing it and it's, um, it's so great to see and it just reminds me this is why I'm doing it. It's amazing to hear that. So I'm making sure, okay, I'm gonna pray. Uh, that I'm doing the right thing.